this at some point in the near future. Uh, if you saw the Facebook post earlier, I'm going to be talking about the Valen 7015 Meerschaum line pipe. Just a just a uh, bent billiard, nothing really that fancy, but and it's one of the older offerings that Valen has. But I saw it the other day, and frankly, I just like the look of it, so decided to uh, pick it up. Now, the pipe itself is nothing fancy, even, but I'm going to start going into why Meerschaum is good in general. Now, a quick side note about Meerschaum pipes, most of the time with... Uh, the lined meerschaum, it's not pure one single block like you would with a full meerschaum pipe. Something called composite meerschaum, which is made up of little bits of meerschaum that are pressed together. Still good, not necessarily quite as structurally sound as the plain meerschaum, but still has all the benefits that meerschaum has. Some of the better benefits, and at some point in the future we'll get into, into a better pipe video with our pipe master, Connor, who will be here at some point in the future for our Pajon video, but uh, Meerschaum, it doesn't take nearly as long to cool, it's a much, it's a, a much cleaner smoke because the Meerschaum is a porous material that acts as a filter. So you don't have to worry about waiting between smoke times for the pipe to cool down, you don't have to worry about the briary overheating and cracking. You also, because it's a cleaner smoke and the Meerschaum actually acts sort of like a filter, you get a more pure, for lack of a better way of saying it, flavor of whatever tobacco you're smoking. Like earlier I was smoking the Scottish Woods that we uh, we did earlier. It looks like I put it away. I was looking out on the table. Just now I was actually smoking some uh, honey whiskey scraps. Uh, one of our local cigar shops, Battleground Cigars, the one that we feature regularly, they make uh, infused cigars. And one of those is a honey whiskey infused cigar, which they use pipe tobacco as a filler for. Now and then they'll give me a bag of extra filler that they just didn't end up using, so that's what this is. I have some cherry laying around somewhere too. But uh, yeah, so uh, again, this is the Valen 7015, in case anyone is interested. Now MSRP is about $100 when it first came out. I forget exactly what it was. You can see this anywhere between... 80 to 100 dollars depending on where you go online. I picked this up at uh, at Connecticut Valley Tobacconist, the tobacconist that owns Battleground Cigars. I picked it up for, I believe I paid 100 for it. So not necessarily cheap, but when you count into the fact that you're getting the benefits of Meerschaum with the look of a briar pipe, and not to mention the added benefit of it's a Valen pipe, so obviously it's going to be excellent quality, is well worth the money. One thing to note, however, with any of any Meerschaum line pipe, not necessarily just this one, because it's a separate lining, Chris, I don't know if you want to, I won't be able to get it on Facebook if you can get a better look of uh, the bowl itself. Yeah, that's good. You can see how it's sort of separated like that. Uh, sometimes I personally haven't seen it happen, but it has happened to people in the past. If you get it hot enough, if you use enough smoke pressure on there, thank you. Uh, the bowl will actually become disseparated. At that case, unfortunately, there's not really a whole lot that you can do to put it back on. But in theory, if the bowl if the bowl falls out, you still have a briar bowl in there. So you can smoke it like that. Won't be quite the same, but you can still get your money's worth out of it if possible. But yeah, so. Definitely recommend this pipe. This is the first time I've smoked it, and all the bowls I've smoked out of it thus far have been excellent. Uh, you really get a taste of the tobacco that you're smoking out of it. And uh, actually, with it, with the Scottish Woods that we did a video on a little while back, I was able to pick up a little bit more of the smoky notes that we, I was unable to get during the initial that jerky smoke. kind of... Right, right. Uh, Chris described it kind of like jerky if you couldn't hear him. Uh, you get that nice savoriness out of there, too. So yeah, that's the end of that. Stay tuned uh, in probably about half an hour, 45 minutes. We'll be recording for the Pajon 2000. Do that live too? Yeah, we could. We might do that live. We'll see. Uh, the beer that we're drinking, I'll grab mine because it's unopened. It's the closest one to me. We're going to be pairing the Pajon 2000s with Lefty's Brewing Company. It's a local beer. It's their, their 95.3, I believe it is, Honey Brown Ale. This is a new one to me. I actually haven't had it yet. Chris, what are your thoughts on it thus far? 
I would, I would, the wrong word is heavy, but you definitely taste the honey, um, caramel. I'm allergic to chocolate, and that taste scares me, and it has a very kind of chocolatey right. flavor to it. But, it, I mean, it's, it's good beer. I think it'll pair with something sweet. I've never had the Padron, so um, it'll be interesting. Nice. And, uh, Connor smooth. has had the beer a number of times, evidently, because I texted him about it earlier. He likes it, so that's enough of an endorsement for me. So, yeah, have a good night. Talk to you guys in a little bit. Let me turn this down.